Hey everybody, I'm gonna try and do this. I forgot to get the right JB Wells, but I'm gonna try and show you how to do this. Um, obviously, you take the glass part. I put hot glue in this little hole, um, basically because it fills up the airspace, and it has breathers here, which people say, no, I don't, but it does. Um, so if you fill this up with hot glue, or whatever, but my hot glue has been stained, so that's where I block up that extra spot. Um, try not to fill it all the way to the top because you do have this part of the little nipple part of the black part going on. So what you do is you get your JB Weld, or I've tried E6000 and it held for a while, but not completely. Um, but the JB Weld, um, the one I had was set time 15 minutes, which was great, except that I grabbed the wrong one and I grabbed one for set time in a minute. So that's why I can't completely do this. Um, but otherwise, if you put it in there and you put it on the edge here, the wrong part, and then on the outer edge, and you set it down on your cup, sorry, put it on the cup like that, put it on the counter, let it sit overnight or you know, at least five hours. Read what you're using. If you're using uh, aquarium glue, read it, see what it says. Um, JB Weld, I let it sit overnight um, and make sure that this is down. Um, in the meantime, I've already taken mine apart, but what I do is I get my heat gun and obviously you can kind of, well my light's a little bright, but you can kind of see where I burnt the paper, my paper, because I was selling this one as a square cup. Um, so anyway, you heat it up and there's usually just one spot of glue in there. Um, it's usually either on the opposite of this little air hole or right next to it. But it will pop off. It might be a little struggle, but it will pop off. So it'll come out like this. There's the inside where you can see the glue was popped. And the glue on this side. Now, here's that air hole I keep on talking about. I made mine a little bit bigger so I could get my needle in there. Okay, you see from the other side, get my needle in there. So when this is, say, the next day or your five hours sit, put water in it. Test it. Let it sit there for an hour to see if there's any leaks around the bottom. Um, because why go further if you have a leak there? Um, so then, if you don't have a leak, I fill it up with baby oil till, let's see, right about there. Then I put in my glitter, or whatever I want to put in there, and I fill it up to about there. The reason being, I want to dry this part off and then put my glue or my sealant around there around this edge here and also in this in there and in that little crack there make sure you get enough in there so you're not sitting like i am with jb weld in not the right spots so you got to make sure you get it all the way around and then you put your cap back on tighten it up I'm going to have too much hot oil or glue in there. So, you tighten it up. Let it sit. Let that glue seal and cure. So let it sit there. And then go back maybe five hours later, whatever. And you can take your needle. Mine's a turkey baster with, I don't know where I got the needle, but I've had the needle. So then I fill it up with baby oil. And put it in here. Push it in the hole. Start pushing it in there. Fill it up as far as you want. Beat slowly. Tip your glass over and make sure you're holding that air hole. Tip it over. Make sure it's as full as you want it. If it's not, put some more in there. It'll only go so much before it starts bubbling out anyway. So then once you get it where it is, make sure you wipe the cap off. Seal that hole with either um, marine glue or J. 
JB Weld or whatever you're using, but make sure you seal that hole and let it cure because sometimes it will go into the hole and you still will have a little leak there. So after it's cured, double check it. Put another dab on it. Then turn around, put a dab on there, put your cap on there, and you should have it. It should just sit there and I wish I had mine to do, but it should do it. Like I said, the main thing is just make sure you get enough up in here and down there. Make sure it is all the way around. Otherwise, you're going to have leaks. Like I said, I got one with JB Weld, and I'm having a hard time getting it off. I had one um, with um, E6000. took me about a day, but I did get it apart. So, that's how it is. Um, hope I covered it all. Like I said, your main thing is make sure you seal this, seal that. And the hot glue gun, or the hot the heat gun is, you just, mine has paper on it, but just heat it up and keep on pulling. But remember, this is going to get hot. So, and it'll just melt that little piece of glue in there. What I do, I usually stick my knife in between there and try to get it around. Let's see if I can show you. I stick my knife in there before I even take it apart, see if I can get it around, see if you can feel where that glue is, because usually it's right in on the edge. So if you can get that, then just put your hot gun there and it'll pop off a lot faster, because you'll know where it is. But that's how I do it. Any questions, let me know. Sorry if it wasn't informed enough, but um, I don't have my JB Weld the right kind. This one's a tan one, and I didn't want my tan. There is a clean, clear one. And like I said, some people have been using the aquarium glue. I haven't used it yet. Um, probably will. But the JB Weld has been great for me so far. Um, sold like four, I think four of them I had. Sold them over the weekend. I hope that helps. Thanks.